there, welcome to my video on how to bulk enroll your students into a Thinkific course. If you didn't already know, bulk enrollment is great when you're selling your course to organizations or companies specifically for their employees to take. Uh, this is common if you are selling your course to a company and you want uh, employees within a specific division to take your online course. And so enrolling them can be a challenge, but this video sort of teaches you how to do it step by step. So let's begin. The first thing you want to do is first log into your Thinkific site. Once you're logged in, you will see different kind of menu options here. Uh, we're going to go directly into the support your students menu option and look for different uh, choices under there, specifically users. So once you click on users, this is what happens. The website will display um, how many users are in your Thinkific school. And so you'll see I'm the only one uh, enrolled right now. And so what I'm going to do is that if I have this course that's being offered and sold to employees of a specific company, I want to make it easy uh, for myself, but also for HR and for the company to see that all the employees who are required to take this training have been enrolled. Now you could, if you wanted to, if there weren't a lot, you could do it manually by adding a new user. Uh, but with this import uh, from file feature, uh, you'll find that it's a lot easier. So once I click on import from file, I think if it will sort of give you some instructions about how to use uh, the import feature. Uh, first, they'll give you a template here. And this template uh, will then, you can use the same template that they have provided in Microsoft Excel, um, but I prefer to use it in Google Sheets. The most important thing in the template is that each person will have an email address, first name, and last name. And these fields will already be set up and they'll even give you a test uh, demo just so that you know how uh, to fill in the spreadsheet. Uh, they also uh, let you know that the file can be in XLSX or CSV format. Uh, my personal recommendation is CSV because when you're importing data, it's always easier to start with CSV so that any formatting and any kind of excess characters that could be you know, mistyped um, is easily uh, removed and it's very clean. And then just so you know, there's a maximum of 5,000 students per import. So that means that your spreadsheet can have a maximum of 5,000 users. So if you have more than 5,000 users, uh, please reach out to Thinkific because um, they do not support more than uh, 5,000 based on this uh, demo. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, if you see the options below, it'll ask you to select a file. I've already created a Thinkific demo spreadsheet. Now let's take a look at this spreadsheet. Um, this spreadsheet already is set up based on Thinkific's template. So you see there's a user email, there's a first name, and there's a last name. And they've made it easier for me to follow and import uh, the names and emails by giving me a sample of jane at doe.com and the name of Jane and Doe. So if I oops, uh, want to follow that same process, then I can enter my name and my email address and then continue with the same process as well. So once uh, HR gives you a list of names and their email addresses, then all I have to do is copy it into the spreadsheet. And then once it's copied and everything looks okay, make sure you know names are properly spelled, email addresses, um, are also copied in correctly, then you'll want to, uh, if you're using Google Sheets, download this as a CSV. So I've already done this, so we'll just skip this step and then go back to uh, the import uh, section. So uh, once I'm in the import section, it'll already say that I've already imported this file. Now, if this isn't the right file, I can always click on use different file and select a different file from either my computer I can also select it from Google Drive, Dropbox, and or OneDrive. So think if it gives you multiple options, choose the one that works for you. Some people prefer uh, pulling their file directly from Google Drive or Dropbox or OneDrive, and some people prefer to keep everything on their computer. It's just a matter of preference. Although I do have to say cloud is easier because you want to uh, have everything saved in cloud uh, in case something happens to your computer. But that's just a side tip. 
Now, once my uh, file has been imported, uh, then I just want to pull the field so that everything is matched up. This is really what mapping fields here is all about. So in the first name, I want to select uh, the field that I'm going to uh, match up. And so first name, I want to match it in my spreadsheet to this field of first name. So as you see, the idea is to, from a data and reading of the data spreadsheet, is to match this um, the way it is to what's in Thinkific so that they can pull the right names. And then so last name should directly be associated with last name and email should be associated with email. And so you've already seen now that they've imported a few names. Now you're probably wondering why there's only two names uh, when I've added more uh, names onto here, but uh, the reason is because I added those names later on. So uh, let's go back here and then the option, since this is a demo, I won't, you know, I want to uncheck this because I don't want to have them send an email to jane at doe.com since that's just a demo email and that's not an accurate email. But if you uh, were ready and everything looks accurate, you could definitely click, uh, go back and keep this uh, so that everyone who is in this uh, imported file gets an email to sign up for their Thinkific account and to get access to their course. So uh, once everything looks good, just make sure the names and emails are accurate, then you can click on import. So now, uh, two users have been imported. Now we'll just want to uh, refresh our screen so that we can see the two names that have been imported. And so, so now, as you can see, the two uh, names and images have been imported. Now, once the names have been imported, what I can do is two things. I can select the two names that I want to enroll in this corporate uh, course uh, through this group and then click on this add to group. Here what I can do is I've already created my corporate university group and then I can click on corporate university. So then what happens is those two uh, users that I've just imported will be assigned to that group. So now you see there's an email they just said two users have been added to the group. Now the other thing that I'll want to do on what this is uh, is to what happens is, what if, you know, this employee, uh, that the employees that are required to take this training have to complete the course within 30 days uh, because that's an HR requirement. And what you want to do is, okay, so what, now that I've added these users, what I want to do is click on their name and then make a change so that they can be uh, set with an expiration date for their enrollment in their course. So once I click on the name, first I want to select the course that they will be enrolled in. So I'm just gonna select, if this was an instructional design course that I was selling, then I would click on all about instructional design just so that the system knows that I'm enrolling myself in this course as part of the um, corporate university group. And then since I want you know people to complete this as part of the agreement that I have with this company to complete this course within 30 days then I can set the September 30th expiration date and then once that looks good I'm just going to click on enroll and now it says I'm enrolled in this instructional design course and then I can go to the groups tab to see that I've been assigned to this corporate university group so that's just one way um, and a bulk way of adding and enrolling many users to a, a course that you're selling to a company uh, and organization. So I hope that video helps. Let me know if you have any questions, leave a comment, subscribe, and thanks again for watching.